Hi, my name is Profi, and in today's video we'll be taking a look at a Hubwerk sample set which is free, offers a lot of variety and a lot of sound colors and stops, and also is perfect for the interpretation of uh, Johann Sebastian Bach's music, which is always a big uh, plus in my book at least. And the Janke organ was finished in 1997 and basically is a reconstruction or a reimagined version of a former instrument of the Buckeburg Church, which was uh, built in 1617, I think, and uh, was destroyed in the fire. So this is the reimagined version of that organ. And uh, it is very baroque. It offers a lot of sound colors and is very wonderful. Let's check out the principles in the Hauptwerk, the main sounds of the organ. Then there is a crazy mixture which is, which is very bright. It's a very baroque sound, so very bright, very shiny. There also are flute pipes, as always, the Holzflöte. Which is very nice. We have a Gemshorn. We can combine these two voices. And then there are mutation stops, the quinta. And the tats, which makes it a bit sour in sound. Then there is another sound family in the Hauptwerk, which is the string voices. Very beautiful. And then there are the trumpets, as always. A fagot in 16 foot bass. And if we were to combine all of them, it sounds very uh, bright and shiny. I will start with the uh, mixture and principles only, so it is a bit more clear and at the trumpets later. It's a very mighty and nice sound, in my opinion. And then there's the option to add the tremolo to the Hauptwerk, which makes it, uh, you know, you'll hear it. That 
that's the flute and with the other flute it sounds like this. It's a pretty fast, I'd say, but it fits the organ, in my opinion. That's the quinta and the tertia. Very beautiful. You can also try the cornet with the tremulant, which sounds like this. I'm not sure when you would use this, but it's interesting to hear, I think. You can also try the trumpet, actually. Sounds weird, but you could also use it as a solo, for example, which should sound a lot better. almost sounds like a Vox Humana up there. So the reeds actually have the characteristics of uh, being very loud at the bottom of the keyboard and getting much softer at the higher part of the keyboard, which is just an interesting thing to know, I think. Well, let's check out the Oberwerk, which is uh, kind of the same as the Hauptwerk, but sounds a bit... sharper compared to the Hauptwerk. It's a bit more direct in sound, also in the nave of the church, I think. So the principal chorus of this sounds like that. You can add the quinta for a smaller plenum as we would call it in Germany. Or the mixture, of course. The sesquialtera makes the sound a bit, uh, uh, you know, a bit more snarly, if that makes sense, like the like the tertia does. Um, there are string voices. Quintadena too. Then we have got some beautiful flutes. Very round and bright. And then there's the Undamaris. makes the sound shake a bit like the Shrevenum does and I like to use it with uh, flutes as well but I think it's supposed to be used with uh, string voices.
It's very beautiful. Then there is a four-foot flute. Which you can combine with the eight foot. Then we've got the mutation from the uh, Hauptwerk as well. Which sounds a bit more clear than the Hauptwerk one. But then there's the Sesquialtera, which makes it sour again. We ha also have a white flute, which is a two foot stops for the flute. And I like to combine the eight foot and two foot flutes to make this very shiny and bright sound like, uh, like this. It's cool, I think. At least I like it. And then we've got a reed voice, which is the Vox Humana. Which is very beautiful. And the fun thing about the Vox Humana is that if you use it with a tremolant, it completely changes in sound. It's actually supposed to imitate the human voice, but yeah, we can argue about this, I'd say. These string voices with the tremulant. We can try the flutes. And we could also use the Nasat as a solo voice, for example. Or the Vox Humana with some flutes. very lovely. And let's take the tremolant off of this division and activate all of these stops and then it can sound like this. wonderful and it fits the Hauptwerk very well. Um, you can actually do these uh, question answer stuff things like this. Well, 
something like this at least. And then we can check out the Brustwerk, the third manual, which is on top of the organ actually. Um, it offers a nice flute as well. Then we've got another flute. which actually ends here and wants you to use the other flute to continue it. Then we've got another Holzflöte in four foot bass this time. Die Holzflöte zwei Fuß. So these are very gentle flute stops and we can also combine them. Which is very nice. We can also do the uh, eight and two foot flute trick. I like to do that. And then we've got an even smaller flute, which actually should be like this in size of the pipes at least. And it sounds like that. It's very uh, bright and shiny. And you could also combine it with an eight foot. Sounds like this. Then we've got the quid flöte again, which is basically the same setup as the last uh, two manuals. Can combine it with another flute. And the tats as well. Then we've got a principal forefoot, which is very bright, and a string like voice. Sounds like this. Of course, we've also got a, a read stop in this manual, which is the Regal. Sounds similar to the Vox Humana, and if you turn the tremulant on, it sounds similar as well. Well, <laughs> it's interesting. And um, if you were to use the tremulant with the flutes, you would get this on for. Uh, shaky sound with them. You can also add the quint flöte as a solo voice, for example. So you can accompany it with uh, the second manual, like this. Then there's the Tetzflöte, which sounds similar to the other ones. You could also give the Quintadena a try with the flutes and the tremolant.
sounds like this. We can turn the tremolet off and pull out all these stops of this manual. Sounds like this. And we can actually do the same thing as last time with the echoes. So you have a very silent manual, a middle manual and a loud one. actually couple them, it gets even better. Can sound like this. Then we've got the pedal of the organ, which uh, has the supas as every organ has, and it sounds like this. Then we've got a louder principle. And the octave bus, which is an octave higher. There also is a gem song, which is the same pitch, but a bit less uh, loud. octave for foot and a mixture. And then there are the loud stops, the reed voices, the Fusauna 16 foot. which is very baroque again, the trumpet. And another trumpet. And then there is an Untersatz uh, 32 foot, which is very deep. very quiet, but I think you can uh, get a feel of it, at least in the sample set. And if we combine all of these, it sounds like this. That's the pedal division of the organ, which is very baroque as well. And you see you have got all these different pitches of stops, which uh, basically make the pedal independent, which was a, a good thing at the time and still is today. And well, that's the sample set of the Janke organ in Bückeburg. And if you'd like to give it a try, it's free. Uh, click the link in the description below and just uh, ordered for free and download it and it is very much fun to play. I really like it. I also recorded a piece on it uh, one time I think. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a comment, leave a like, uh, let me know what you think about the sample set and I will see you next time and for now I will play some more loud music <laughs> to say goodbye to you. Thank you for watching.